Hey guys, the Apple Employee here today. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get iOS 5 Beta 1 on your iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation and iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4 without having your UDID registered with Apple. First, you're going to have to download your correct IPSW and iTunes 10.5. As soon as this happens, you're, you should be on this screen and you're just going to slide to set up. And then it's going to tell you that it could not activate your iPod Touch because your device isn't registered as a developer. You're going to click the home button three times. One, two, three. Which, which will activate voiceover. Now simply just touch, touch the clock at the top or touch the iPod logo and swipe with three fingers. And it should bring down the notifications center at the top and you're going to click you're going to click the weather two times one two okay and then you should go straight into the weather app and now you're just going to simply click the home button and there you go one two three to turn off voiceover and you not you're now on iOS 5.0 um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. This only works on the iPod Touch and iPhone, not the iPad. And do keep in mind that every time you turn off your, your iPod Touch or your iPhone, you do need to redo the whole process again. And some stuff don't work. Say the status bar doesn't work. You have to register your UD ID number for the status bar to work and other stuff. And also no multitasking. As you can see... But you, there is a way you can get the status, the notification bar at the top by simply clicking three times by activating voiceover and go to the, click on the time and swipe with three fingers, one, two, three to turn it off. And there you go. But that does get a little annoying. Yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.